there's a royal connection to Tampa Bay. Meghan Markle's half sister now lives in Polk County. She says she is the victim of cyberbullying and online threats. Eight on your side's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us live. And what does Samantha Markle have to say, Stacy? Well, Stacey, as you can imagine, she has a lot to say. We can't help but be fascinated by this family, right? Well, if you've been paying attention to the twists and turns of the royal drama, you probably know there hasn't been a lot of love lost between Samantha Markle and her half-sister, Meghan Markle, who's married to Prince Harry. But Samantha Markle tells me that doesn't mean she deserves to be stalked. And for people out there who Samantha Markle says she's misunderstood. And the problem with tweets, though, is that you can't hear tone of voice. So while I thought I was saying something maybe cynical, maybe witty, people couldn't hear it. Ever since her half-sister married Prince Harry in May 2018 and Samantha and their father Thomas weren't invited, Samantha Markle has been a thorn in the royal couple's side, railing against them in interviews and on social media. There's a real family issue there. The public got involved. They took it too far without saying, hey, their family. They can speak out if they want to. She recently moved to Polk County after she says online trolls found and exploited her address in Virginia. Soon after arriving here, though, it happened again. They were taunting me with my address and my location, letting me know that they were out there sharing it. They were also sharing um, screenshot admissions of having my social security number. So she filed a complaint with the Polk County Sheriff's Office. There is now an investigation underway. Just because someone might not like what I have to say or that I have a book coming out doesn't mean that they can engage in criminal activity, coercion, threats, intimidation. Now, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who think that Samantha Markle is just looking for attention by speaking out like this, and we'll leave it up to you to decide on that. But she says that she's afraid for her life and wants social media companies held accountable for online harassment. Stacy. All right, Stacy DeSilva, live in downtown Lakeland. Thank you. By the way, if you'd like to watch that entire 35-minute interview with Samantha Markle, you can go to our free WFLA app.